So I just wanted to make this video to show you guys how to run uh, DC Well at 60 frames per second on PC. You can see I'm running at 30 frames per second right now with VSync on, so I'm going to turn it off right now for you. So I'll turn it off right there. You can see the frames up top, close to 180. That's what you don't want. So you're going to want to cap your frame rate to whatever refresh rate your monitor runs at. I think I see a little uh, tearing here, so we're just going to jump to the desktop and I'm going to show you guys all the settings. So now we're on the desktop. You're going to need um, Rivet Tuner, and that comes with MSI Afterburner. And you also need a GeForce Experience. So with that, you'll be able to right click on the uh, control panel. Yeah, I mean right click on the desktop and then click the control panel. So go up to the left corner to manage 3D settings and then program settings. And then you're gonna wanna add uh, dcgame.exe. So just click add and then drag it over to the right and uh, you should be able to find it in that list you recently used. So scroll down to vertical sync and then click that right there and turn it on and then apply. And you want to come over here and turn the frame limit to uh, 60 and then minimize that. So just reopen DC Universe and we will see the results. So you can see now that we're capped at 60 frames per second. And it's looking pretty good. I don't see any screen tearing. I'm just testing it out right now. And yeah, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, so that's all I really wanted to show you guys how to get this 60 frames. I couldn't get it before, so this should help out anyone that's trying to do this. And I'm pretty sure this is a feature on PlayStation, but, you know, they decide not to put it on PC for whatever reason. But, whatever. Alright, thanks for watching.